Nice. Hey YouTubers, Grimmy here, and this is the video review for the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Bombshell. The second of a trio of Insecticons has finally been released, part of the first wave of the New Generations line. While his uh, fellow Insecticon Scrapnel has been released in the previous line, it's nice to see that the guys at Hasbro haven't forgotten the Insecticons completely. So, yeah, we're, we might get a kickback and we might be able to complete this trio. Yay! So, without further ado, getting a closer look at Bombshell here. Uh, you can see he's a nice little Hercules type beetle. Really well done. <laughs> Very small, compact, not a whole lot to him, but you do got that articulated horn. So you can move it as you need to. It's nice. Very simple design. But it works for the Insecticons, so I do like it, and the colors are done very nicely. It does a very good job of homaging the original G1 figure. While making him look more like a real insect than the original G1 figure. But all the cues are there, the uh, golden eyes, the big Decepticon symbol on the top, and that very classic purple and gold and yellow and black color scheme with a little bit of red in there too and all the colors are nice metallic like they got a real good shine in that red the yellow is a golden color and they're using a metallic purple plastic but we'll bring in his uh, one of his buddies uh, Scrapnel can see that when you have them together there is actually a good difference in the colors like I said bombshell uses more metallic colors than what Scrapnel did so even though they pretty much do match there is enough difference to tell them apart uh, aside the obvious different kind of insect differences um, the colors are different too But yeah, I mean, they do look good together still. Despite having different colors, they do look good. And I can't wait till Kickback comes out so we can have our complete trio of legend-sized Insecticons. But, um, for other comparisons, let's bring in the G1 bombshell. And, like I said, there are... Plenty of similarities between these two. You can see a lot of the sticker placements match where the uh, paint is put on the uh, figure. Not a perfect likeness, but uh, very close. The colors are a little different, but that's okay. Not a big deal. But anyway, the next comparison will be the fans projects storm bomb as you can see there's a massive size difference uh, storm bomb is quite bigger than uh, bombshell is but quite honestly there is a very lot of similarities between how these two transform I mean, you flip them up. Oh, yeah, that comes off normally, so don't worry. You can see there, the arms are the same, in the same spot, relatively speaking. The legs are attached to the same points. So there are some similarities in how they transform, which is kind of interesting and yeah one of the um, insect legs fell off of the storm 
bomb that's not broken it's just a it's a weapon in that thing so aside from that get him out of the way and we'll do a comparison with the rest of the uh, two waves blackjack upper wind charger zoom out power glide and thundercracker and yeah there they are together but it's about time we got these guys into robot mode oh got the uh, bombshell into robot mode and see how he looks Okay, and we got Bombshell in his robot mode, and he's looking pretty good. Nice, solid little Insecticon. As you can see, he seems to have guns on his fists. Fine with me. He's also got his big gun on his head. But unfortunately, he doesn't come with a gun to hold. This is a shame, especially since this is like one of the newer molds. I think they would have had a gun for him. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to make do with what this without. But, you know, all in all, he's a really good figure. Looks nice. I do like him. And would make a very nice classics Insecticon. Uh, for articulation, he doesn't have anything at the head, but he does have ball jointed shoulders and elbows. He also has that transformation hinge that allows his arms to go back a little more and a little bit forward. So yeah, he's got plenty of articulation in the arms. He has a waist twist. Just more than some of these guys have. He has ball jointed hips and hinged knees. The insect's legs can get in the way for some poses, but you can adjust them as you see fit. So I'm going to put those out right in this. So yeah. He does have a nice amount of articulation. And he looks pretty good. Uh, for a quick comparison. Let's bring in his G1 counterpart. I wish that he came with a gun like that. But he doesn't. So too bad. And we're also going to bring in the fans project Storm Bomb. So you can see big size difference there. But yeah, there definitely a lot of similarities between the G1 and this new generations version. I mean, the same basic build. Nice colors on the uh, bodies. They matched up the eyes, like the um, shoulders, the way they should be. So all in all, they did a pretty good job of updating Bombshell. I'm impressed. Um, next comparison will be Scrapnel. Because you really got to get your Insecticons together, right? And they do look pretty good together. Bombshell is a bit bigger than Scrapnel is. But as, uh, all in all, they match up pretty well and look like a rather cohesive unit. Um, granted, the colors are a little different on them. Uh, Bombshell seems to have a darker hue than Scrapnel does. But aside from that, yeah, they look pretty nice together. And last but not least, as becoming obligatory for this group, going to bring in the others. Yep. Going to get them all in. Try to get this to match up. Back it up just enough so I can get Thundercracker in. And yeah, he does look pretty good with his uh, wave mates. 
So yeah, I'd say it's a win. Yeah, Bombshell is a really strong figure for this line. And he's one of the strongest, actually. A solid bug mode, a really nice robot mode. Well articulated and does a great job of representing the character. So he's a very solid, maybe one of the best of the bunch. Alongside Power Glide. Or Power Glide! <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that with everybody. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I want to get, I want to see you guys next time. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.